lot of people don't know that we actually have a really prominent and important archaeological site right here in East Idaho. 15 miles west of Idaho Falls, out into the Arco Desert, is something called the Wasdencroft Archaeological Preserve, and something that we usually just call the Wasden Site. Out in the desert, there are lava tube caves all over the place dotting the landscape, and they're not always easy to see or to find, but there is a series of three lava tube caves just out in the desert, and in there has been found just an absolute treasure trove of archaeological and paleontological information that goes back to some of the earliest people that were ever here in Idaho. This is the ancestors of the Shoshone and Bannock people tracing their history back thousands of years. And in fact, we can look in these caves and see evidence of some of how they lived here in East Idaho. So we actually have here at the Museum of Idaho more than 80,000 different pieces that have come out of those caves that have been excavated at different times. This includes bison, dire wolf, camel, and Colombian mammoth. Here, of course, in the Museum of Idaho, we have our 13-foot tall replica mammoth that we call biadekup, which means big food or feast in the Shoshone language. It's pretty incredible to think that people who lived here actually interacted with those mammoths. They had to avoid them. They had to hunt and eat them. So there is actually quite a bit of mammoth remains there in those caves. And actually, Columbian mammoth remains have been found all over eastern Idaho, including within the city limits of Idaho Falls as well. One of the biggest parts of the collection that has come out of those caves is a whole lot of bison remains. We have researchers here at the museum. We have two archaeologists on staff, but then we work with archaeologists from all over the place, from different organizations and universities as well, to study this incredible find, which has not been accessible to researchers for most of its history. And so there's a lot of excitement in the archaeological community right now surrounding this site and what can be found there. Particularly notable is that we have scientists in the process of trying to prove this right now, but it very well may be the oldest bison jump site in North America. The oldest and largest, actually. Early Idahoans would have tried to work together and channel bison running in a herd in a certain direction to jump off essentially this short cliff down into the cave at which case it would be easier to trap them and, and kill them and be able to process them for food. There are several dozen bison that we have found already, distinct individuals down there. What our archaeologists are learning is that some of these first Idahoans who were here thousands of years ago were processing them in gourmet ways. The Wasman Caves out in the desert is on private land and it is fenced off and so it's not easy to get to, and in fact, we intentionally don't talk about where exactly it is because unfortunately, over the years, archeological sites, including that one, have been vandalized here and there, and then some incredibly important information can be lost forever. But that's why it's so special that we here at the Museum of Idaho get to offer you the opportunity to take curated tours of the site. And so coming through the museum is the only way actually to get out there. We organize tours there every summer, come along with us and archeologists, and we get to point out some cool things and you get to experience what it's like to be out in this actual archeological site, but above board.